Shopco was a department store chain based out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, and depending on where you're located, this may be the first time you've heard the name, although you may have heard of some of the companies they have been linked to. Shopco was one of the first department stores to include a pharmacy and an eye care center. Some even included a dental office later on. In this video, we take a look at the Wisconsin-rooted retailer Shopco and try to find out what led to the eventual bankruptcy and closing of all stores. The idea of Shopco was first mentioned in March of 1961 by Chicago pharmacist James Rubin and other investors as a plan to open a $1 million department store in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The plan came to fruition in April of 1962 at 216 Military Avenue. 1966, a second store was added and was referred to as Shopco East due to it being located on Green Bay's east side. Several other stores were added throughout the remainder of the 60s. Halfway through 1970, James Rubin announced that Shopco had plans for a corporate headquarters on Ashland Avenue in Ashwaubenon, Wisconsin. The following year in 1971, Shopco Stores announced its merger with grocer Super Value of Minneapolis. Later that year, Shopco unveils plans on adding pharmacies to their stores. In September of 72, Rubin left the Shopco company and became president of Super Value. 1977 saw Shopco top 100 million in sales with a reported 22 stores. The next year, in 1978, the company slowly began adding optical centers to their stores. At the start of the 80s, Shopco converted a few former COPS department stores, adding to the growing number of stores. 1988, a new corporate headquarters was built in Ashwaubenon by the Bay Park Square Mall. The company also expanded into Utah around the same time. I've just smeared hamburger over every exposed part of my body. Why? to get you to switch to Twin Value. Twin Value was introduced in February of 1989 by Shopco and Super Value. Twin Value was a hypermarket concept that would open in Ohio and was the combination of general merchandise and grocery items, which is a more commonly seen concept today. Shopco opened the door to its 100th store in 1990 in California. In 1991, Super Value sells a large chunk of Shopco stock and would eventually lead to Shopco becoming more independent. In 1996, Shopco announced a planned merger with Farmore, an Ohio-based chain. Those plans fell through and eventually led the company to acquire Penn Daniels Incorporated and its 18 Jack's Discount Stores in 1997. In 1998, Shopco would begin moving into former venture buildings that were located in Kentucky, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, and Kansas, expanding their reach in the U.S. In 1999, William Padani became president of Shopco and led the acquisition of 147 Pomida stores. In March 2000, shares of Shopco stock hit a record $3.57, up 70% from the year before. 
In May of 2000, Shopco agreed to buy Places Discount Store, a 49-location chain, for $22 million with plans to convert those locations to Pomidas. Places Discount Store primarily operated in towns with a population of 1,500 to 4,000 people in Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, and Missouri. Early in 2001, Shopco announced the closings of 23 stores and a distribution center, cutting 2,500 jobs. A statement to the press released in February of 2001 contained the following quote. After a comprehensive review of store operations, Shopco stores will close 23 underperforming stores and a distribution center. In addition, we will eliminate approximately 2,500 positions at both Shopco and Pomida divisions. The closings at this time included stores in Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Missouri, and Nebraska. About 136 of the jobs that were cut were at the company's headquarters in Green Bay, Wisconsin. In April of 2002, the company's CEO, William Padani, resigned. Jeffrey Girard became his interim replacement until Sam Duncan took over in October. In 2005, Shopco opened the first few Shopco Express locations, which were smaller and aimed to compete with Walgreens and CVS Pharmacy. You gotta take a new look. You gotta take Around that look. time, oh, the chain there. exited oh, the state of Colorado hey, and also it. closed its Pretty Reno, Georgia, Nevada Georgia, locations. Georgia. Late in 2005, Shopco was acquired by Sun Capital Partners. Sun Capital Partners Incorporated is an American private equity firm specializing in leveraged buyouts. In May of 2006, Michael McDonald took over as CEO. In 2007, Pomida spun off from Shopco. Also in 2007, Shopco rebranded, dropping the capital K, otherwise known as a camel case K in its name, and introducing a new logo, although Shopco Express stores retained the older style until fall of 2008. In April of 2009, Michael McDonald resigned as CEO to become CEO of Designer Brands Incorporated, which is an American company that sells name brand shoes and fashion accessories. Michael McDonald was replaced by W. Paul Jones. In the summer of 2010, Shopco opened its first Shopco hometown stores, which were converted from Pomida locations. In 2011, Shopco placed even more emphasis on their hometown brand by opening nine new locations and closing regular stores to focus more on the hometown stores. Today, Shopco and Pomida officials announced they'll be consolidating their... In 2012, a decade after it spun off from Shopco, Pomida again merged with Shopco, rebranding all Pomida stores as Shopco hometown stores. The total cost for the remodel was estimated at $80 million. Later that year, W. Paul Jones resigned from the company's top post and Mike Bettega took over as interim CEO. In 2013, Peter McMahon was named Shopco's new CEO. In 2015, due to bankruptcy, Shopco acquired 20 Alco store locations with the plan of converting them to hometown locations. Alco was a retail chain operating 198 stores in 23 states, primarily in the United States Midwest. The company was founded in 1901. Late in 2016, Shopco closed four stores due to poor sales but also opened one in Eli, Nevada, a city with a population of almost 4,000 people. In November of 2016, Shopco launched its first credit card. In 2016 and 17, the firm also remodeled its larger stores to include some groceries, with limited frozen and perishable items, mainly frozen pizza and dairy products. On 
December 4th, 2018, Shopco confirmed that they were closing 39 stores. The following day, Bloomberg reported that Sun Capital had failed to find a buyer for Shopco and the Capital Partners found a Chapter 11 situation increasingly likely. Shopco began closing its pharmacies in December of 2018 and selling their patient records to local competitors, including Walgreens, CVS, and Kroger. McKesson Corporation is based in San Francisco. On January 8, 2019, McKesson Corporation, a pharmaceutical distribution company, filed a suit against Shopco seeking $67 million in delinquent payments. Along with the announcement of closings, it was reported that Shopco could file for bankruptcy as early as January 15th. On January 16th of 2019, Shopco filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in a Nebraska court, citing tough market competitions and assets of less than $1 billion, compared to liabilities of up to $10 billion. Shopco followed their bankruptcy filing with the closure of another 105 of its 363 stores, including its original Military Avenue store in Green Bay, Wisconsin. On February 7, 2019, Shopco confirmed another round of closures. This set of stores made up about 70% of its locations. The closings took place in phases between March 2, 2019 and May 12, of 2019. With these store closings, Shopco would exit the states of California, Colorado, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Nevada, New Mexico, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Texas, Utah, and Washington. Billings West End Retailer will soon be closing its doors. Shopco announcing it is closing its remaining 120 department stores. In be closing all of its stores. Today, the company announced it was unable to find a buyer. It will start the liquidation process. Shopco is also evaluating the options for its optical business. All of the stores are set to close by the middle of June. On March 18th, 2019, Shopco announced the inevitable, the closure of all remaining stores. Sun Capital claimed the reason was due to a buyer not being found for the chain. Liquidation sales ran through the summer. On April 22, 2019, Shopco announced to employees that despite the fact that the company signed a contract for severance pay, only certain states would actually be paid. In April 2019, Monarch Alternative Capital purchased Shopco's optical operations for $8.5 million. Many factors led to the bankruptcy and closing of Shopco, but many appear to come directly from Sun Capital. Sun Capital made a lot of money on the Shopco purchase in several corporate moves that sound a bit complicated. One of those was the fact that Sun put up a relatively small amount of equity and then shortly after the buyout sold Shopco's real estate via a sale leaseback transaction, much like what was done with Toys R Us. The result was to add debt onto Shopco's balance sheet while simultaneously stripping it of assets. Shopco's name is carried on through optical stores and that incarnation of the company is seeing great success. In June of 2022, Shopco Optical acquired Midwest Vision Centers and has plans on expanding. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like what we are doing. Signs are posted making shoppers aware. I was surprised. I, I, it, it's well liked. The store is well liked. And people seem to come here a lot and enjoy the deals when they had them.